I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are beginning the conversation of dividing holy things among them from profane. Dividing holy things. This is for our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. These chapters are a companion to the chapters on fitted to destruction. We have a vessel, which is this flesh the Father has created. He has placed our souls, which is how he can identify us, into our vessels. In showing his mercy and compassion for his holy, chosen, and peculiar, the nation of Israel, the Father sent compassion to us in a vessel to show us the way back home and to divide holy things among them from profane. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 3. Sirach is also called Ecclesiasticus and can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the Bible. Who governeth, who being Yahweh, the most high power, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator and the destroyer. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. All things obey the will of Yahweh, the most high power. All spirits obey his will. For he is the king of all, all praise to the Most High, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. So the Father is always working to have the holy separated from the profane, the righteous separated from the unrighteous. Let's look at some definitions of the word holy and the word profane. The first book of St. Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. So the commandments, the statutes, and the law are made for sinners. And we are all sinners, all of us. And the commandments, the statutes, and the laws are the pathway back to the Father and the pathway back to the kingdom. Let's look at the word profane. Profane, unhallowed, not sanctified. Common, public place of men ungodly. Not a sacred place, not a holy place not a sanctified place, a common place, a public place of men ungodly. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. So we are reserved unto the Father. We are separate. We are hallowed. We are not common. As a matter of fact, we are called peculiar because we belong unto Yahweh, and we are to be godly. And because we were given these commandments, statutes, and laws by the one true living most high power, and we follow them, that makes us peculiar. Let us look at the definition of holy. Sacred, holy, Holy One, Saint. Who are the saints in the Bible? The Israelites. The Israelites are the saints. 
Psalms chapter 148 verse 14, Psalms chapter 50 verse 5, Deuteronomy chapter 33 verses 1 through 5. The Israelites are the saints of the Most High Power. Holy, sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart, not common, not regular, not unhallowed, but sacred, sacred unto the Father. So the Father is dealing with and dwelling in the vessels, the flesh, that are holy, set apart, sanctified, godly, and we got lost. And as a nation, many of us simply got lost. We got lost in the world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time. We followed after the other nations. We took on their ways and their customs and their religions. We sacrificed unto their gods. We got lost. And so the Father, in his mercy, sent compassion in a vessel. And he sent unto the nation of Israel the prince of all power. He is the heir to all power. And when the Father gives the word, he will become king, king of kings, lord of lords, and he will sit upon his throne as the eternal king of the nation of Israel. But first, he needed to come and gather up the lost sheep to say this way back to the father. Here is how you do it. So again, for those of the nation of Israel who have been confused by the devil, which means deceiver, and that they believe the book of St. John 3.16 applies to everyone. For the Most High Power so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. It was for the world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time, the world of Israel. Because when Yahweh Shai came in a vessel, in the flesh, he came during Israel's kingdom. We had power and we were in our land and we still had a kingdom. But don't take my word for anything. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he, he being Yahawashai, the prince of all power, to be king of kings and lord of lords, the son of Yahweh, the most high power. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who he came for. Love thy neighbor as thyself. He is a member of the mighty nation of Israel. He is our savior. And he came to love his neighbors on behalf of the father and to bring us home. Just like the brothers do today just like the brothers do today, the modern day prophets, brothers who are out at camp, brothers who are giving classes, brothers who are online, we speak this word in truth and sincerity unto you, Israel. We are showing profound love unto our neighbors, the brothers and sisters of the mighty nation of Israel. This is the Father's compassion in a vessel. We, as the nation of Israel, got lost. We forgot our most high power. We forgot who we are to the Father. And Yahweh Shai was sent to remind us, to remind us of who we are and who we are to serve and to remind us in a vessel, in the flesh. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse six. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. We have power with the Most High, and we are all children of the Most High. 
and we must act like it. And Yahweh Shai was here to remind us of that and show us how to do it in the flesh. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 3, verse 17. And lo, a voice from heaven, the voice of Yahweh, the Most High Power, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High Power. And the Father says, Here is my Son, my child, in whom I I am well pleased, meaning follow him. He's going to show you how to be, and he's going to do it in a vessel. Just like each and every one of you, your soul is in a vessel right now in the flesh. He's going to show you how to do this. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Follow him. We as Israelites are to do that which pleases Yahweh, the Most High Power, our Father. Follow Him. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest and Brother, Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9-11 Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world, remember who you are, and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.